Welcome back to my channel. In this video, you will learn about Reynolds number, different types of flow and how to calculate them. This lab experiment is part of the Fluids Lab in Civil Engineering undergrad course. The experiment was conducted in our laboratory using hydraulic bench and Reynolds apparatus. But before we start, please watch my video Reynolds number lab experiment. Please click the video link on the description below. So, Reynolds number is used to characterize different flow regimes, such as laminar or turbulent flow. The concept was introduced by George Gabriel Stokes in 1851, but the Reynolds number is named after Osborne Reynolds, who popularized its use in 1883. This is laminar flow. It occurs at low Reynolds number with less than 2300, where viscous forces are dominant, and is characterized by smooth and constant fluid motion. And this is turbulent flow. It occurs at higher Reynolds numbers with more than 4000, and is dominated by inertial forces, which tend to produce chaotic eddies, vortices and other flow instabilities. These are the equations we are going to use. Where Reynolds number is equal to the density of the fluid, multiplied to its velocity, and to the diameter of pipe, divided by the dynamic viscosity of the fluid. Remember, this is a unitless value. From the lab experiment, we assume that this flow is in laminar. Let's find out the Reynolds number value. Take note of the given data. We are going to use this in our calculations. We've got the velocity of the water flow by using graduated cylinder and a stopwatch. Start the timer once you start collecting water, then when you had sufficient amount, remove it and stop the timer on the same time. Since the volume we took from the graduated cylinder is in milliliter, make it in liter by dividing it to 1000. To convert it into cubic meter, divide it again in 1000. To find the volumetric flow rate, divide it into the time. Calculate the three values and get the average. Now, let's calculate the velocity by dividing the volumetric flow rate to the area of the inner pipe. So, we've got 0.07 meter per second velocity of the fluid. Now, we are ready to find the Reynolds number by substituting all the values to the equation. So, we've got a Reynolds number of 1114. This value is less than 2300, which means this flow is laminar. Let's move on to the next flow which is turbulent. I increased the water flow and assume that it is a turbulent flow, so let's calculate its Reynolds number. Just repeat the same procedure in finding the volumetric flow of the fluid. Convert the values again into cubic meter then take the average. Then, calculate the velocity of the fluid. Substitute all of the data to the equation and calculate the Reynolds number. This time, we've got a Reynolds number of 10839. This is more than 4000, which means, this is a turbulent flow. You might ask, how about the flow between laminar and turbulent? Is there another type of flow? Yes, there is. It is called transitional flow. It is a mixture of laminar and turbulent flow. 
the Reynolds number value of a transitional flow is between 2,300 and 4,000. Let's assume that it is a transitional flow and find out the Reynolds number. Repeat the same procedure in finding the volumetric flow rate of the fluid. Again, convert the values in cubic meter, divide to its time then take the average. Then calculate the velocity. This time, we've got 0.22 meter per second. Now, substitute again all the data to the equation. We've got a Reynolds number of 3506, which is more than 2300 and less than 4000. This indicates that the flow is transitional. Here is the summary of our lab experiment. Thank you for watching. Please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe for more videos. Until next time.